for the things that God has done for you. All the ways that he's made, all the doors that he's... Oh, can we just worship him for just being God? For just being God and God alone. He doesn't need any help. He doesn't need any help to deliver us. He doesn't need any help to save us, to set us free. He doesn't need any help to save our soul. We can get excited when he's doing things, things for us. But we ought to get excited just simply because of who he is. Come on, one more time.
this morning. Hallelujah, evangelist. Lord, we come to you this morning, Lord God, just thanking you for being God and God. Oh, yes, yes. Lord God, we thank you now for sitting high and looking low. Yes. Yes. Lord God, we thank you for being an all-knowing and all-powerful, merciful yes. and loving yes. and amazing yes. God. Yes. Lord God, we come to you right now just to tell you thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God, for just being good. Lord God, thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord God. But most of all, Lord God, we want to thank you for your son, Jesus, Lord God, who came to save us, Lord God. And Lord God, we thank you. Thank him now for giving us the life, Lord God, life more abundantly, Lord God. Father God, we come to you right now, Lord God. Some may come, Lord God, uh, interceding on the behalf of others. And Lord God, some may come for themselves. But Lord God, we come now asking, Lord God, for a healing, Lord God. First of all, Lord God, someone may need a spiritual healing, Lord God. Lord God, we speak healing now in the spirit, Lord God. Then, Lord God, someone may need a deliverance, Lord God. Lord God, we ask now deliverance, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God. Jesus said that by his stripes we are healed, Lord God. So someone may need a physical healing, Lord God. Lord God, we ask now that you touch, Lord God. Lord God, we ask now that you heal, deliver, and set free, Lord God. Lord God, we come now, Lord God. Someone may need a stronghold, Lord God. Lord God, we ask now that you release strongholds, Lord God. Lord God, we ask that you break chains, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, we know there's power in the name of Jesus, Lord God. So right now, Lord God, we call Jesus, Lord God, for power, Lord God. Lord God, we call for strength, Lord God. Lord God, we ask now that you may lose the burdens of someone, Lord God, that may be lifted, uh, be burned down, Lord God. We ask now that you lose their burdens, Lord God, and lift them, Lord God, and set them free right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And Lord God, we give you all the praise, Lord God, we give you all the honor, Lord God. And we're thanking you now in advance, Lord God, for what you're getting ready to do. Because Lord God, we know, Lord God, that you are, Lord God, you are Alpha in the middle.
So everybody just put your hands together and welcome the youth to the stage of Jesus Christ. And I know this group, they look so beautiful in their costumes today. And we love them.
give the young people another hand. No. 
it was too big for God to help us. But I'll stop out and tell you. He's able. He's able. So I got to, I got to, I got to teach y'all, get y'all back. Uh, I got to lasurize y'all. <laughs> Listen, Jessica came to us 
uh, several months ago. She started watching us on uh, on TV. I said TV, but uh, uh, yeah, I just speak it. She started watching us on uh, online, and uh, and she enjoyed the TNT Tuesday night service. And uh, she decided that she wanted to unite with the. Uh, New Genesis Christian Church. Amen. And she's been here working ever since. And there are some other people in here you consider it, some people who watch it, you consider them joining New Genesis. Come on. And uh, God has given you every sign uh -huh. as to why you need to be here. Uh -huh. In New Genesis. But Jessica is calling her husband. And you know what? You got a microphone? Yes. I'm going to let Brother Daniels. Yes. He just celebrated a birthday. Yes. 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 Brother Daniels, listen. I don't know what y'all do at your church. But that microphone. Come here. I'm going to let my buddy. He's going to introduce his wife, because he, he can say more about it yeah. uh, than I can say about it. Amen. 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 Happy birthday, bro. Uh, Good morning, folks. I just want to let y'all know I'm Johnny Daniel, a concrete worker around the Wild Valley area and work all around the area doing concrete, but most all the time I'm going to do my wife. A good woman, a very precious woman, a loving woman, a kind woman. Yeah. Yeah. All of them are good. Yeah. I really love her. I really love her. And I know she's going to bring y'all a good word today. And y'all just sit back and get ready to wrap this book. Yeah. 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 of God. So giving honor to the Father, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Deliverer, my Healer, my everything, my beginning, my end, the first, the last, my Father God. Give him some praise. I said, God, I can't praise me. I can't praise God. He my sneakers by in the midnight hour, baby. Right, right. Baby, that's the cream in my pocket, baby. Right. That's my crank in my tank when I need it in the name of Jesus. You better know I love that man. 19 years, baby, and we've been through a whole lot of stuff. I thought I loved him when I was 24. But, baby, I'm 44 and I love that man. After God is him, period. You can't even try, because I'd be like, baby, you must don't know my man. Because I love him, baby. <laughs> to my baby girl, my precious princess. I thank God for her. She's my prayer partner in the midnight hour. She prays for her mama. She knows what her mama is going through. And sometimes she'll come in there and lay her hand on me and try to say a prayer. She's my precious. So I thank God for my family, to everyone sitting here. As I was preparing for this message, I've literally been up three nights, not sleeping. My sister Toya texted me last night and she said, you can't sleep, huh? I said, I don't know how you knew, but no, I can't. It wasn't nerves, it wasn't anxiousness, but it was just what God was ministering to me through the word. 
It was just what God was giving to me. And I'll tell everybody before I minister it publicly, God ministers it to me personally. And for three nights, he ministered this. And I thought I was going to come with another word. I had prepared for it. And God kept telling me, the woman at the will. And I said, well, God, I really don't understand the significance in it. And he said, read it. I denied reading it for like two days. I'm just going to be guilty because I had already decided what I was going to minister and that was it. I had came up with my, I knew the title and everything because I knew the story. <laughs> because I knew the word. But God gave me something new and as he gave me something new, he began to minister it to my soul. So if you will, turn with me to John, the fourth chapter. The 28th verse. And it says, giving everyone the opportunity to stand as we read God's word. Then leaving her water jar, the woman went down to the town and said to the people, Come and see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. For a title today, let's use, she understood the assignment. You may be seated in the presence of God. She understood the assignment. The woman at the well. And I asked God to minister it to me in the way that he wanted me to minister it. And I read it over and I read it over and I read it over again. And, and God showed me specific points. See, one day, let me give you a little background of the scripture I just gave you. If you read ahead and I tell everybody, read your Bibles, baby. Don't go on everything I say. Read your Bible. Get you an understanding for yourself. Going back, there was a woman one day who was walking to the well. Jesus was coming through Samaria. And if you start off, it says, I'm going to tell you the scriptures that captures me. He needed to go through Samaria. Now, the background of that is the Jewish did not like to go through Samaria simply because they didn't even like the Samaritans. So they didn't even want to go through that part. But Jesus needed to go through this time. When he went through, he was tired, so he stopped at the well. There was a woman who came about 12 o'clock, about 6 p.m., whichever time you decide. It differs between theologians. Whatever the time you decide, she went to the well, partially because she did not want to be seen. This was not a common time for women to be at the well. Simply because this woman had some issues. She had done some things. You might know me, baby. So I don't need to go to the well right now. Because sister so-and-so might be over there. So there was a certain time that she went to the well every day to get her water. But this specific day, she would have an encounter with Jesus at the well. So when she got to the well, Jesus was there. And he asked her, he said, will you not give me a drink of water? Give me a drink of water. And she said, do you know who I am? Uh -huh. I'm a Samaritan. You asking me to give you a drink? Yeah. We don't even really like each other, bro. You know that. But you want me to give you a drink of water from the well. And he said, if you knew who I was, you would have asked me to give you a drink of water. And she said, you know what? You don't even have nothing to give me no water for. Because the well is way deep. What you gonna, how you going to give it to me? And Jesus was like, listen, I'm not even talking about this water that's in the well. But I'm talking about the spiritual water. I'm talking about that water that only I can give. The living water. The living water where you will never thirst again. And she said, my brother, then I need you to give me this water. And he was like, no. Nah, Know what? It's some things you got to get right in your life. Versus change. He said, go home and get your husband and bring him back. Where you going with it, Jessica? 
Jesus know your business. And before he can give you what he got, you got to correct some things in your life. And you got to be smart, you got to be willing enough and faithful enough to say, you're right. I need to get it right. So she says to Jesus, I don't have a husband. And he said, yeah, you said, yeah, you're right, you don't. But you've had five husbands, but the one in your house is not your husband. And she said, you got me. Who are you? You must be a prophet. And he said, no, I'm just, no, I am the one that they talk about. I am the Messiah. And when he said that, when they got through talking, she left her water pot. I want y'all to follow me because it's the water pot I want you to focus on. She left the water pot and ran into the city to tell the people. Whatever I got going on, after my encounter with Jesus, I'm leaving it at the well. Because I was only going to the well to, to feel flesh. The only reason why she went to that well is because her flesh was thirsty. But you see what happened? When Jesus filled her, she was no longer thirsty, baby. My brother. She didn't need no water pot. So she ran into the city because when God turns your life around, you ain't really worried about nothing else, about what you got going on, but you're worried about saving some people. So her thing was, well, y'all got to understand, this man told me everything about my
whether it be whatever it is. We keep going back to the well. But see, one day this woman went to the well and Jesus was standing there and he was waiting for her. Because he said, I'm so tired of hearing your soul cry out to me because your flesh won't line up. But see, one encounter with God made her understand her assignment. And when she had that encounter with Jesus, she knew what her assignment was. When I was laying in my bed and God was feeding me the word, I said, God, I understand your assignment. I understand what you're telling me. I hear you telling me. Let it all go, Jessica. Don't worry about what they got going on. Leave them kids at the well with me. Leave your marriage at the well with me. Leave your job at the well with me. All of your oppression with me. Your depression with me. Your emotional challenges with me. I'm going to help them back. I just need you to be ready to go because I sent you on a Behind 
over me. Mind you, the woman at the well had to confess her sins before she had right to the little water, baby. You can't walk with God and still be in your sin. You can't walk with God and still be in your mess. You can't walk with God and still put no mask, baby. You can't walk with God all the way in religion if you're still keeping up with tradition and what grandma Sally used to do and what Papa Sally used to do. Walk that mess, cause it's a person. that would free other women, men, children, girls, boys. It was a level, it was a new dimension of transparency. I'm not ashamed of what I've been through. I'm not ashamed of my story. I'm thankful for my story. See, because one day I went back to that same well that was satisfying my flesh, and I left my water pot. And when I left my water pot, I ran into the city, and I said, there is a man who told me but when I repented and confessed and gave it over to him, he gave me living water. And every day I have a new day. I have brand new mercies. I don't always get it right first day, but I know a God, a forgiving God. I don't have to be perfect to forgive me, but I know a God, a forgiving God. And God said, as long as you answer me, when I call you, I got you. As long as you do it, Pastor, I'm asking for permission. As the Spirit leads me, 
Toya. I need you to get Tiffany, son. Where her daughter at? I need both of them. Come up here with me. Y'all been in my spirit for the last three nights. Who I've been tossing and turning with y'all? I don't know what it is. But you know what, sis? I told God that ain't my business. Until he ready for it to be my business. Cover them. Cover them. Cover them. Cover them. Cover them, baby.
almost feel disgusted. Because you wonder why. What happened? What was I thinking? That ain't you, baby. Come on. That strength that was being developed yeah. so that God can use you to bring other women out. Not my assignment, but God got 
But see, a lot of times, we don't get earthly assignments. You know why? Because God needs you to depend totally on him. Not my prayers, not the pastor prayers, not first lady prayers, but directly on Amen. God. Let it go before God get tired. You my daughter. God tired. He tired. He tired. I love you. I don't really know everything that's going on, but I heard God tell me, tell her I'm tired. And when he gets tired, he breaks you down. You done seen me broke down. You done seen God tiredness through me. God tired. And that's the only word I have for you. He tired. He tired. And he about to take action. You got a limited time, baby. You got 72 hours. If you got that. You got 72 hours. If you got that. Oh, God. You got 72 hours. If you got that. You got 72 hours if you got that. God said he tired. He gonna get what he need out of you if he got to break you and tired. Toy. You see all these girls. You know what you've been through. You keep saying it's my silent season. I'm sitting back, I'm listening, I'm watching. No, you rest. Because you know what's about to happen. You about to work. And you know what? You about to have to open up that mouth. You can't be quiet no more. And you know another thing. These distractions that keep coming to you. You going to have to block them out. Because this going to be a season where you going to have to walk alone. God not going to see you no matter right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. He not going to see you no matter right now. Because he needs your obedience to him. And he needs you to sacrifice for him. Because at this moment where God is taking you, because the call is so great on your life, he's needing to know that he has your full attention and he can trust you with what he's about to give you. And if you keep allowing people to distract you, he's going to take it and it's going to be removed from your hands. Let it go. He's not going to send you anything right now. Anything that will be a distraction to him, he's not sending it. He said that flush, get it in line. Stop letting the enemy fool you, sister toy. Telling you it's your flush. And, and, and you can't get it in line. Yes, you can. Get that flush in line. Sister Jasmine. The anointing on your life. Every hurt that you endured was necessary. Everything that you went through, I don't even know your story, but it was necessary. See, because God had to tear you down, then he had to build you back up. And now that you're in your building season, and now that you're in your building process, he's strengthening you and he's restoring you. And he's healing your heart, your mind, and your spirit. God got you. Everything that you desire and everything that you touch will be blessed because you have been obedient in your healing. We've been here. Lost the lone boy crazy, pregnant at 16, pregnant again at 18, still trying to go to school, tied up in family generational curses. That was all me. Raped, molested, whatever you want to call it. Well, it was done to me, baby. It's not a story that you can come to me, and it's not a story that you can tell me that I promise you I can't relate to, baby. From being in married in, in adulterous relationships. From being unfaithful to my husband to being in a relationship with somebody else's husband, baby, I done did it all. So it ain't nothing that you can come to me and we can't fight together. You understand what I'm saying? No matter what you're going through, I've been there and we're going to fight it the right way with God. We ain't going to run from it because let me tell you. You can't run from healing. If it 
You got to heal from it. For real heal. Not, I'm okay. But for real heal. Whatever it is. You got to speak your peace about it. Let it be known. Expose the elephant in the room so you can get your healing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sister Lee, it, it, what's your, Lee? Maya, Leah, Maya, Maya, Leah. I get them all mixed up. Wherever it is, you got to speak your peace. If you got to knock on somebody's door and say, this is how I'm feeling. Speak your peace, expose the elephant so you can stop hurting, so you can move on. Because if you don't heal from it, guess what you do? From every friendship, from every relationship, you keep carrying it, and you keep carrying it, and nothing successful comes out of it, baby. Believe me, I know. I carried it for what? 15 years? It took me 15 years to get my marriage right. And I've been married 19. Because I was all dealing with all kinds of stuff. Ashes to Beauty, November 5th. Sister Toya is having an event. You be here. You be here. You be here. You be here. Y'all be here. And anybody else that needs to be here, be here. Deliverance is in the room. Y'all can have a seat. Please understand. This is a season where God is getting tired because time is coming short. And we don't have, you know, I know we used to hear the old saints say, we ain't got long as we once had. We ain't got long as we once had. And in this season, God is pulling true warriors out of people. And I learned the Bible said, if you don't cry out for me, I'll create a rock to cry out for me. In John 4, it also says, there will come a time when people will worship me in spirit and in truth. Let go of the silliness. If you ain't right with God, sit down until you get right with God. Baby, I sat down for three years, no joke. Until God got ready to use me again. And then he sent me to a place where I could be restored so that he could get the full benefit out of me. I had to let some things go, be transparent about some things, break some bondages, cut some chains. But I got it. I left my water pot at the well. <coughs> Don't lose your mind holding on to that water pot that's keeping you connected to that dry well. Offering. All right, God love a cheerful giver. Sister 3S spoke of 
Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Cheerful. amen. Several ways to give. You can text to give uh, 662-371. New G, that's 662 or on Givelify and find the New Genesis Christian Church on Givelify. Uh, online donations are accepted at www.newgenesisob.com. And then finally, if you get cash or check, and there should be a envelope in front of the seat that you are. Uh, sitting here. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, God, we thank you for this portion of worship, this portion of your service. God, we have to give and to give back to you, God, a portion of what you have blessed our hands to withhold. God, we pray now, bless us upon the gifts and the givers. Ask now that you will take it and multiply and do only that which you can do in the name of Jesus. God, multiply now some 36 to 90, 100 fold in the name, God, we speak increase over every person and over every household, God, that's given and vowed and uh, that vowed to give in this 